Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for tuning in. Today, we are going to be doing an unboxing of the Bug Assault 3.0. What I have here is the Bug Assault 2.0 in camo. This has been my go-to gun for blasting mosquitoes, flies, uh, fruit flies, pretty much any insect that um, you can shoot. Um, that invade your house. So I take no prisoners. The only thing I will let kind of skate by are spiders because spiders are good. But if you are a mosquito, if you are a fly, if you are a horse fly, if you are a fruit fly, I am locking, loading, removing the safety, and I am firing. Okay, salt chamber is here. Pump action, loads the salt and primes the gun. This is the safety, it flips down each time. And then you pull the trigger once you have the bug aimed up in your sights and you fire. The 3.0 is right here. The 3.0 boasts a couple of new improvements. Um, I'll let you look at the website and you can kind of see what they are. But for the most part, you can get the 3.0. Um, I want to say they're about 50, 55 bucks. Uh, maybe you can get them a little bit cheaper if you get like a specific design that's on sale. But um, this is the box that it comes in. It has not been opened. It is completely sealed. So let's get on with it. You know, I saw, you know, my Bug Assault 2.0 has served me well. I've had it for quite a few years. Um, I've had great joy in using this thing. But um, it's time. It's time to uh, upgrade. You know, the, the mechanism was starting to not catch. It was starting to kind of be a little bit faulty. And I think I've got more than enough life out of it. So here we have... Bug Assault 3.0. And as you can see, there's a couple of different changes to it. It looks very similar, but it's definitely not the same. Um, you know, they definitely, they still have the, uh, the markings on here. Mine has it in here. You can kind of see them. Bug Assault, the original. Bug Assault, the original assault gun. Do not shoot in face or eyes. And uh, we'll do an unboxing. All right, I have my little helper with me right now. Aiden is going to be helping me. Yep. So this is the Bug Assault 2.0. Here's the Bug, of Bug Assault 3.0. Um, and again. Ooh, again. Uh-huh. This one is going to be a little bit stronger than the one that we have now. Let's free this one from the packaging and see what we have. You got the same Bug Assault stickers that I got with the original one. See the stickers, Aiden? Stickers. Don't use them. And you get a nice little warning. Treat gun as loaded firearm at all times. The improper use of this gun can result in serious bodily injury to you and or others. By removing this tag and using the Bug Assault 3.0, you are assuming full responsibility and liability for any direct, consequential, and indirect damages, whether foreseen or unseen, wow. that may arise. Prior to using this gun, view the instructional video detailing how to operate the Bug Assault 3.0 at bugassault.com slash videos. So as you can see on the new one, excuse me, you have the, the sights that line up. You have the rear sight and the front sight, and you basically aim down the barrel like so and you are able to see your target a little bit better. I mean, I don't know how, you know, well that works. I'm gonna say that, yeah, maybe for some people that'll work, but you know, it's basically like buckshot. Oh, wow, this mechanism is much stronger. You can feel it already. Can I try? And then you have a safety, push for safe. You have a non-safe. I'm guessing the side is red, no, it. but this side is green. And that means that it's ready to fire. Wow, that is some power. And when you load it, when it's ready to shoot, the, the, uh, the sight comes up. And after you shoot it, it goes down. <laughs> this definitely fires with a lot more force than my other one. So let's get an idea of how much force we're talking about. The salt 
chamber is also slightly different. As you can see, this one's got this little flip up lid. The 3.0 has a nice, easy lid. Looks like the chamber might be slightly bigger as well. Uh, maybe about the same, maybe less actually, I would say. I'd say the space is maybe a little bit less. So we will fire the 2.0 first. We'll do point blank. That was a shot right there. Let's do one more test shot. See how the mechanism did not catch. Okay, so that's the first one. Thank you, Aiden. I have some very good commentary in the background. If you have any questions on this video, please feel free to comment uh, in the question in the uh, comment section below. Questions, comments, concerns, please leave them below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, have a great day.